Hello, my name is Madhu Samu and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco's data center product group. This video is a part of a series that is intended to show some of the unique advantages made possible by Cisco server offering called Unified Computing System or UCS for short. This video will show the viewers the details of how to enable anonymous reporting capability in UCS. At Cisco, we know the best products are the ones our customers use to their fullest potential. To design our products, we gather direct customer feedback by conducting usability tests, surveys, focus groups, and other types of field research. Oftentimes, it's impossible for us to contact most of our customers in person to get their feedback. The anonymous reporting capability was developed to give all our customers the ability to contribute to the design and the development of UCS product line. While the call home is an automated support capability that provides continuous monitoring, proactive diagnostics, alerts, and remediation recommendation on UCS through email-based notification of critical system events, one step ahead is anonymous reporting capability, which is a sub-feature in the smart call home and allows Cisco to anonymously receive UCS usage data. Cisco uses this information to improve the products and features customers use most often and to help solve problems. Any information you share with Cisco is completely anonymous. The participation in this anonymous reporting is voluntary and the end results are software improvements to better meet the needs of our customer. This feature is embedded and integrated into the device itself, an operationally simple process for customers to allow UCS usage data to send to Cisco backend to help improve the product overall. The benefits of anonymous reporting to customers include a better customer experience. As the data gathered using anonymous reporting, will help Cisco to better understand feature utilization, deployment patterns, etc. It will help us to build faster notification systems to reach out to customers on common defects and vulnerabilities. It will help us to build overall better quality systems and software to meet the needs of our customers. Now let's take a quick look on how to enable anonymous reporting capability on UCS. Anonymous reporting capability was first introduced as part of 2.2.3 version of UCS. Once you upgrade the system to 2.2.3 version or have a UCS system which is running a code version beyond 2.2.3, for the first time when you try to log into the UCS, it will immediately uh, pop up asking you to authorize to send anonymous reporting to the smart call home backend. In my case, I'm logging on to the system just after the upgrade to 2.2.3 version of UCSM where the anonymous reporting capability was first introduced. There you go. This is the first pop-up window. It'll ask you to authorize uh, to send the anonymous reporting data back to the Cisco smart call home. You could authorize it here by saying yes, or you could choose not to, or you can click do not show this message again. And, and I'll show you in a minute how to turn on if you choose not to do anything here. Even in the UCSM window within the smart call home, you can actually turn on anonymous reporting capability. And, and then sample data which is being collected as part of anonymous reporting is something like very UCS specific information. We do not uh, actually collect any customer sensitive or environment specific information. Uh, we just collect the relevant information which is very particular to the UCS system. For example, things like number of blades, what version of the firmware is running and uh, things like serial numbers, such things. And again, this is very specific UCS information and none of the uh, confidential uh, customer information is abstracted as part of this anonymous reporting. I, I will choose cancel right here and, and go back to the UCS window in a moment. The other place where you can turn on anonymous reporting capability of UCS, in case you haven't chosen to turn on during the initial pop-up window, you can turn on at the uh, admin window, call home, anonymous reporting, and just choose to turn on. I've already had an SMTP server address as part of my smart call home configuration. So it picks up that SMTP server address. You can enter a new address if you wish to, or leave the default SMTP address and click on save changes. And you can also send system inventory. By default, UCSM will gather system inventory every 30 days in case there are no uh, changes in the environment. But in case if there are any changes, UCSM will trigger uh, an automatic uh, system inventory to be sent to Smart Call Home Backend. Here I'll choose to send every 15 days. Click Save Changes. 
you could also send system inventory right away by clicking send system inventory uh, action then UCSM will trigger system inventory and send back to the smart call home systems backend. A quick uh, overview of what type of information will be collected as part of uh, anonymous call home reporting is basically an XML file of all the UCSM configuration uh, which contains all the uh, UCS level information only specifically uh, what type of firmware the system is running all the blade information all the serial numbers of the blade this is how the typical XML file which will be generated as part of the whole uh, uh, anonymous reporting call home we do not collect any customer specific information um, once again and all these uh, uh, fields are being abstracted and and fed into the smart call home backend to to generate the appropriate reports and notify customers accordingly as you see in this case we collect information like serial number of the system the, the number of fan modules and the serial number of each fan modules and uh, the operational state of the system pulled or abstracted using XML structure. To recap, the goal of anonymous reporting is to ask our customers to send anonymous UCS usage data to Cisco Smart Call Home backend and do this in the least disruptive way. The anonymous reporting was created to give all Cisco UCS customers the ability to contribute to the design development and quality of Cisco UCS products. The end results are software improvements to better meet the needs of our customer and improve the customer experience overall. This ends the UCS Advantage video where we show how unique capabilities of Cisco UCS can lead to simplified deployment models with much faster service turnarounds to meet the increasing demands of the business. Please go to www.cisco.com slash go slash UCS for printed collateral including brochure that highlights the information shown in this video. Thank you for watching.